problem today is going to be um, 783 minus 419. Okay, you're thinking first. You're thinking first. Once you think you have the answer, thumbs in front of your heart. Once you've got your thumb up, then your fingers go up if you can figure out with a different strategy. Please notice the place values of the numbers too. Don't add. Did you do a subtraction with all three place values? Um, just think about that, okay? And then if you change your mind, go back to your thumb. Miles, what do you think the answer might be? 376. 376. Okay. What do you think the answer might be, Tima? Yeah, I think it's you have a brain match with Miles or Julian? Okay. What do you think, Anae? Six. Antonio? Five hundred and twenty-three. I like how you're participating. Thanks. Um, Jacob? Um, four. I'll come back, okay? Okay. Okay, so you're getting your brain set. I'll come back to you. Um, Jonas, or not Jonas, yes, Jonas, you have your thumb up. 364. Um, Nathaniel? 376. Sabina? 564. And I'm going to do Jacob last. that don't seem to fit the rule, okay? Just by saying 700s minus 400s, what should our number maybe start with? Three. A three. So 776. No. Probably not going to be in the right range. 643. No. Um, 523. No. 564. No. These ones probably are not the most logical, right? All right. Um, here we go. Let's solve it using um, the number line. I want this to go to a zero, so when I'm doing my counting, it's a lot easier for me to do my counting backwards, right? So how many jumps is this going to take for me to either go up to 420 or down to 410? Where do we want to go? Which is closer? 420. How many jumps do we need then, Jock? One jump. If I put a jump here, I have to put a jump there, don't I? Okay. Um, let's see. Nori. 783 plus 1. I'm changing the 3 column. What's my new number going to be? 3 plus 
Three plus one. You're taking away. We're not ready to take away yet. Three plus one. Just the ones gone. Three plus one. <coughs> Four. Seven hundred eighty-four minus. What's my new number? My, what's my new subtrahend? What's my new subtrahend? Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty. I almost wrote a zero in the middle. All right. So my number line, right? What do I do first to solve this problem? I circle the higher value. Why do I want to do that, Tima? Because I can't subtract the high number from the little number, can I? So I'm going to circle the highest value. Then what? Label my number. What do I put over the four? Standing for hundreds. And then a teaspoon. And then uh, uh, O standing for uh, ones. Good girl. Okay, Michael, <coughs> now where do I start? What do I do next? Tima's labeled my number for me. She told me which number to start with the highest. Where do I what do I put down now? <coughs> On the right side. Why? Thank you. It's the higher value. How many hundreds jumps, Daniel? Four hundreds jumps. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. I'm labeling that so that I don't forget. Three hundred, four hundred. Am I done with my jumps and miles? No. No. What do I need next? I need you need two more tens. I need two tens jumps. One, two. And then that's going to be my answer, right? Yes. Because we got a zero in the subtrahend and the ones column, that's going to make us not have to do any ones jumps, right? Yes. All right. 784. If I'm taking away 100, which number is going to change? The four, the eight, or the seven? The seven. Okay, class. What's seven hundreds take away 100? Six hundred and the 84 stays the same, right? Yes. Okay. Again, am I ready to move to a different place value to subtract? No. We're staying with the six. Okay. 684 take away 100 Five. is? 584. Notice that it's just the first number that's changing. 584 minus 100. 484. So by this pattern, that means I can just keep going minus 100, minus 100, minus 100 all the way to the circle? No. Oh, so I need to be start like being careful, right? Just one. Which number is going to change this time, Tima? The, eight. the four. The four still because it's still the hundreds jump, right? Yes. So 484, take away 100, guys. 384. I like how a lot of you guys are participating. I'm not sure why some of you are just sitting there. And then now you're going to change the, the eight. eight. Now we're changing the eight because we switched from hundreds to tens. tens. Good. The eight's going to be what changes this time. 374. 374. Those of you with your thousands charts, this is the time to find your number. Find 384. 308 first and then the four. 384. 384. When we're jumping by tens and we're using a thousands chart, do we go down for takeaway or up for takeaway? Uh, up for takeaway. So minus 10 on the, the hundreds or the thousands chart is always going up. So 384 minus 10 is? 374. 374. 
Okay, gonna do it again. 374, we're changing the seven. tens row, the seven. 374 minus 10 is 364. 364. Very good. Now, are we sure that's the answer? No. no. What do we do? We want to check the answer. We're going to check by doing the opposite operation. If we already did subtraction, we're going to add this time. We're going to add our answer to 419 to see if we get the original problem, right? So, 364 plus 419. We're going to do it in partial sums. We need to put our ones row. This is where we're adding our ones column, which is the 4 plus 3. Okay. Then we're going to have the tens. This would be the 60 plus 10. And then we're going to have the hundreds. What's going to be added here for the hundreds row? 700. What's going to be added to I mean, three, three, four. 300 plus 400? It's not just 3 plus 4, though, is it? It's in the place of the hundreds place. So when we add it, we have to say 300 plus 400 so that we're remembering the correct values, right? Um, Jorge, what's uh, 9 plus 4? I'm sorry? 9 plus 4. 13. Thank you. 3 goes in the 1's column for 13. A 1 goes in the 10's column. Are we having any 100's in 13, guys? No. No 100's. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you, Ems, what's 6 plus 1 or 60 plus 70? Uh, 60 plus 10. 60 plus 10. 30, 40, 50. 60 plus 10. 70. 70, good. Not 17, 70. Is there any hundreds in the number of 70? No. So I'm going to put a zero there to hold that place value. All right, now we're up to 300 plus 400. Um, and Michaela, help me out. What's 300s plus 400s? 400. <laughs> 700. Now, in order for our answer to be right, it's got to match our original number. 3 plus 0 plus 0 is? 3. 1 plus 7 plus 0 is? 8. And 0 plus 0 plus 7 is? 7. 783. Let's go back to the top and see if we get this, the same answer. Yes. 783. Awesome. Check. We did it right, right? Good job.